the river's well and truly um, burst its banks now. There's water everywhere, more than I've seen in a long time. Um, yeah, so I'll poke up this, up the edge here, see all the water there. Already seen a little croc take off back there. So I'll go up here and um, who knows, we might find something. Get a bit of a fish in, I'll see a few crocs, a couple of buffalo or something. You just never know. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's another one. Whoa. That's cool, they're up here in the shallows. Wow, that's awesome. So that's a good sign, I've seen a couple now. There was two there then. So hopefully if I make my way up along this water's edge, I can see a few more. Look at this buff highway. It's been used regularly. Keep my eye out for them too, because they're obviously up here. Wow, there's just so much water. I can't get anywhere near where I normally go. Hoo 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 hoo! There's another one. Had a fair bit of size to it the way that took off. Didn't even know that was there until it took off. Crocs are going to be really hard to see up here today with that well camouflaged in amongst all this bush. So there's a good chance I'm not going to, I won't see most of them until they take off like that, the last few that I've just seen there. Here they are. I knew they wouldn't be too far away. There's a lot of fresh tracks. There's a mob of buffalo over here. There's a fair chance they'll smell me pretty soon. Oh, yep, they're onto me. One's looking at me. So I've got trees here to get behind. If they do charge, here they are. Look at the size of the horns on that one. Jesus. Yeah, she had a huge set of horns. You can see their wallows here. There's a few back there too, they'd be loving these conditions. So we're out in these sort of conditions. It's not really the crocs that I'm worried about. That's the buffalo you gotta worry about. Plenty of them around like this. If you startle them, surprise them. That's when they will attack and they're really hard to see in all this scrub. So this amount of water here, you can see it's real, really muddy, turbid water. That's the sort of stuff I've got to stay away from. There could be a five meter croc in there, hidden, if it's deep enough, or his back's not exposed and you wouldn't even know. So the buffalo have come in handy here, the grass in this bush is really long. We can see where they've worn tracks through here. That makes it easy for me to follow follow along. I've just got to watch out for snakes. Look at this big tree. Big eagle's nest up there. Made a nest up way out of the flood water. Jeez, it'd be interesting to know if there's um, eggs in there or um, hatchlings.
See those big buffalo out there? Oh, I thought they'd gone. They're still here. Wallowing around like that. While they're a big animal. They're not on. It takes a bit a big croc to take one of them down. They're still vulnerable. And they're still on the croc menu. This croc's big enough to take them down, so it's crazy when you, you look at the size of the buffalo and think that a reptile can actually drag one of them down and eat it. Gives you some idea of the size and the power of these big big buggers. Too, if he does come this way. waterlogged grass again it's amazing how alert your senses are when you go through stuff like this you see and you hear everything oh something's just oh there goes croc that's a big croc man whoa he was out near those buffalo the buffalo were just over there before look at him that's a big croc Jesus, I can only see his head, but that's a big boy. Wait, he must have been stalking those buffalo. If only I didn't have known that, I didn't see him there. It's hard to tell how big that guy was, but just judging by his head, that was five meters plus easy. He was a big boy. If only I'd have known, I, I could have sat there bit longer and film those buffalo he might have attacked one I'll never know I suppose Ooh, there's something dead here that's probably what that big croc was over before as well as those buffalo oh, yeah, there's something in the water here can't tell what it is entrails of some description Be the victim of a croc. Look at these buffalo trail coming down from the bush. Down through the bush across into the water there. And with big crocs like I've just seen there, there must be a lot of buffalo get taken. This country is pretty tough to get through. Today, I'll do these. Yeah, I'll push right back up into the bush. You don't normally have to come anywhere near here to walk up this river. So I'm up in the scrub. I bought the net and the fishing rod today and they've just become a hindrance. I wish I'd have left them at home. Buffalo. My buffalo just took off. some more buffalo I haven't spooked him yet I don't know how he's just ahead of me in the book. 
geez. Sounds like thunder when they take off, when there's enough of them. There's a pig right here. I don't know if it's dead or just hiding from me. You can see this big wallow here. I'll have to be careful of him if he comes this way. I think it's a big boar too. Oh yep, he's alive. I've just seen his tail twitch. They can be really dangerous pigs, especially the big boars. They've got razor sharp teeth and um, a, fair, a fair amount of jaw pressure. Their teeth will just cut you open like a razor blade, disembowel you. So this guy here, he's obviously hiding from me. He doesn't know that I can see him. I want to get closer, but I'm out in the open. I can't afford for him to attack me. All right, I've got some trees here. So if worse comes to worse, I'll run and jump up those trees. Wouldn't be the first time I've been chased up a tree by a pig. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. But I'm going to throw this net at it. See what sort of a reaction we can get. Move. He was a big boy too. Good Christ, he ran that way. Look where he's been rooting around here. Crocs will be watching him too, waiting for him to come closer to the bank. They're pretty partial to a bit of pork. This country is getting really hard to uh, navigate. It's all overgrown and all this ground there's rocks underneath the, uh, underneath these bushes you can't see them. And it's really hot. It's really steamy today. Look at this, look how much water there is here. I normally walk up this river and it's, I don't know, maybe had a guess 50 meters across, maybe a bit more. I'm looking here now. That must, that'll be a couple of k's across there in some spots. There's just water everywhere. Check this out for a, where a pig's rooted around. Mate, this bloke's had a good old crack. It's been digging around for roots and grubs and you wouldn't know what. But he certainly moved some bloody dirt. Some areas you find, that's one pig's done that. Be a big boar, I'd say. Some areas you find acres and acres are like that. They do a lot of damage to the, the old pigs. Listen to that. I don't know if he's good either. I just took a big mob of buffalo by surprise again. They've taken off. Look at that for a big old tree. Wow. Oh, yeah. I 
Wow, well, that's just the one tree. That's massive. Oh. Buffalo. Look, they come up under here. It's a perfect shade for them. Cover. It's a track where they come in. And they rest up in here. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big tree. I've just stumbled on a little herd of buffalo down the other side here. They're wallowing in the water. Straight through here. Finally back to the car, changed my clothes, it was dripping wet. That was the hottest session I've had in a while. Um, it was good, got some good footage. Buffalo and a uh, few crocs and bits and pieces. So now we're gonna head back, um, stop at the Corroboree Tavern. And we'll show you the resident croc there, Big Brutus. He's a four meter plus crocodile with attitude. So we'll get there and uh, show you him and tell you a bit about him um, 
I've got to organise with the owner, he's going to feed him while we're there, so we'll be able to see him uh, having a feed, so let's go and have a look. Hey, mate. Wow. Hey. Hey. Don't play with him. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we got Woody here. He, he's a local. You're a local fella, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's um, he knows all about it, so he's gonna let us know what Brutus done to this chainsaw. Well, a fair few years ago, Brutus was in his pen in in the in the in his little lake there, and um, the man was up there trimming back the tree with the chainsaw. We dropped the chainsaw and Brutus jumped out and grabbed the chainsaw and had it in his mouth and chewed it up. Smashed her? Smashed the chainsaw. Was, was the chainsaw still going? Yeah, it was still running while he chewed it, yeah. <laughs> oh, and the I, think, I think the noise made him come out and attack it. Ah, yeah, he yeah, got aggressive, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got aggressive and attacked the chainsaw. So how long ago was that? Oh, that was a fair few years ago now. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of years, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, it was a lot so, of years ago. Needless to say, the chainsaw's buggered now. Oh, yeah, it's She's unusable ready. now, yeah. yeah he yeah. pierced it all with his teeth and... Yeah, two and a half tonnes per square inch, isn't it? Yeah, it's pressure, lucky so. he didn't do more damage than Yeah, he did. bloody earth. It's lucky he didn't get the blow, yeah. Yeah, well, that's but, uh, it, yeah. The black was still in the tree and he couldn't come down for a while. Nah, no, I wouldn't come down either. <laughs> Look at the size of this croc skull. It's a monster. Absolute dinosaur. So what have we got? The largest crocodile skull. So they estimate 8.8 .8 meters. That's a bit big. I don't think it was that long. So the skull's 72.8 centimetres long. And their head is one seventh the length of the body, I think. So if you do the maths on that, that's a big, big crop. Well over, over five metres, so it's a big boy.